Welcome to Workday Recruiting Candidate Maintenance. In this session, we'll manage candidates through copying job applications and identify and merge duplicate candidates. Recruiting can get messy, especially when you have a lot of candidates applying for different positions. But what if there was a way to keep things organized and avoid duplicate applications? Workday Recruiting offers several tools to help you manage your talent pool efficiently. Let's examine a few. Sometimes you can find the perfect candidate for a role, but the job requisition they appear in is closed, or they're a better fit for one of your other requisitions. Workday lets you copy a candidate's application to another open position. This saves the candidate time and effort from having to reapply and helps to prevent creating a duplicate record. This process copies over the candidate's personal information, the CV or resume, and the initial application questionnaire, answers, and scores. However, this only happens if the questionnaires are the same on both requisitions. Workday doesn't copy any questionnaire answers or scores associated with other recruiting business processes. When copying a job application, you don't need to link the job requisitions or relate them back, unlike evergreen requisitions. To illustrate this, I've navigated to a job requisition. From the Candidates tab, I've also selected the checkbox next to a candidate I want to copy to a different requisition. Next, I'll select the button with three dots, which is the More button. From here, I'll select Copy to another job requisition. From the task, in the Job Requisition field, I'll add the requisition I want to copy the candidate to. To confirm that the candidate moved correctly, when I navigate to the requisition I copied them over to, I can confirm that they appear on the Candidates tab. While it's great to be able to copy a candidate over to another requisition, it's common that people apply to multiple jobs in an organization. Workday helps you identify duplicate candidates, whether it's someone applying twice or a referral that matches an existing record. For instance, Tom Moore submits an application through the company's external career site. This application creates an active candidate record for Tom. When the recruiter initially reviews the application, they don't immediately choose Tom for the position, so his active candidate record remains in Workday. Later, Tom's friend, an employee, refers him for a job, but this referral uses the name Tommy Moore. The referral then creates a prospect record. As a referral, the recruiter becomes interested in Tommy and completes a job application for him, which creates an additional active candidate record for him. Workday would have the following records related to the same Tom or Tommy Moore. Two active candidate records, one for Tom Moore and another for Tommy Moore, and one prospect record for Tommy Moore. When you merge two records, you select which record to merge. The other record becomes inactive, but remains in the system. Note that if one of the two records has an employee referral source, that source always becomes the source for the remaining record. To prevent duplicate candidates in the system, Workday can even automatically merge these records, combining information into a single, complete profile. Workday won't automatically merge candidate records if both records have the source of referral with different referring workers, or if both candidates have an account on an external career site. Of course, you might have situations where automatic merging doesn't work perfectly. Workday also allows you to manually merge or unmerge records for complete control. There are a few ways to find duplicate candidates. First, you can use the Find Duplicates for Candidate report. This report lets you search for a specific potential duplicate. Next is Candidate Profiles. Sometimes, potential duplicates might appear directly on a candidate profile. This gives you a notification to investigate further. You might also have a review step in your job application business process. This step could specifically be for reviewing duplicates submitted by agencies. This ensures that you don't miss any qualified candidates. From the Find Duplicates for Candidate report or the candidate profile, you'll view a Merge button for possible duplicates. If it's not a duplicate, you can select the Remove button to remove the notification from Workday. 
When you merge two records, Workday shows you the names of who will merge. The names that display are the source name, the candidate that you want to merge, and the target name, the worker or candidate with whom you want to merge the source. In this example, Workday recognizes that Hank Miller and Henry Miller are the same person. While we correctly merged Henry's records, what do you do if you accidentally merge the wrong profiles? Thankfully, Workday allows you to unmerge records too. The merged candidates report gives you a complete list of all merged profiles. From the merged candidates report, you can select the unmerge button for a candidate. This restores the original separate profiles for both candidates and activates previously inactive prospects and candidates. All actions you take on the merged record, such as creating a job application, transfer to the target record of the original merge. However, you can't unmerge records when there's an in progress or completed hire event, or the source record is purged. Have you ever thought, I'm familiar with this candidate, haven't they worked here before? Well, Workday can even recognize former employees who apply again. This is helpful for several reasons. First, this allows you to identify workers with a past history at your company and assess if they might be a good fit to return. Sometimes, employees accidentally apply through the external career site instead of the internal job board. Workday can catch this and ensure a smooth internal transfer if applicable. The system can also indicate if a former worker is eligible for rehire based on their previous termination status. Just like with regular duplicates, Workday allows you to merge the candidate profile with a former worker's record. These records can be for pre-hires, retirees, terminated, or former workers. When you select the Merge button, you merge the candidate's record to the pre-hire or worker record. You can choose whether to use the information from their application or their previous employee record. This combines all their information into one convenient location. This flexibility helps you record the most relevant data. Then, you can reuse the prior worker information if you hire the candidate. After merging a previous employee, prior worker appears next to the candidate's name. Merged candidate records include a link that allows you to easily navigate to the worker's prior record. If you hire a prior worker, Workday will treat them as a rehire. Let's revisit the Find Duplicates for Candidates report. This report identifies the following record types as potential duplicates for a candidate and allows you to manually merge the two records together. Pre-hires, terminated workers, former workers, and candidates. The report also includes a column indicating if the former worker is not eligible for rehire as flagged during the termination process in Workday HCM. Workday recommends monitoring the Find Duplicates for Candidate report early in your recruiting process to ensure that you don't end up with duplicate worker records. If set up, this report can be a to-do step or notification in a recruiting sub-process like screen or interview, for example. Or it can occur at any point before Workday creates a pre-hire record. This is important because Workday creates a pre-hire record when a candidate reaches certain stages like offer or background check. Once created, these pre-hire records are permanent and you can't delete them. So if you plan on merging a candidate with a former worker record, make sure to check for duplicates before they reach those pre-hire stages. One last tool in helping to identify prior workers depends on the setup of your external career site. If enabled, applicants on the external career site can enter certain information like employee ID, manager, email address, or work location to help Workday identify prior workers as potential duplicates. Finally, if available in your tenant, when you merge a candidate with a former worker or a contingent worker, Workday can use the personal information provided on the most recent job application when hiring the employee. If this option isn't available, Workday retains any personal data that exists on the previous worker record. By using duplicate worker detection features, you can effectively welcome back past employees, 
streamline your hiring process, and make informed decisions. In this session, we were able to manage candidates through copying job applications and identified and merged duplicate candidates. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.